Hi there, I thought it'd be useful to show you how to uh, quickly create a uh, 3D spaceship type model uh, using uh, two of my add-ons, uh, the shape generator and then the plating generator with greebles. It's what I um, uh, originally set out uh, to create them for actually, so um, it's good to see them working so quickly. So first of all, just make sure that they're installed here. Uh, the, first of all, the, the 3D shape generator to create the basic shape should be selected. And then also, if you type generate, uh, you should see three add ons enabled for the plating generator and the greebles, the greebles plates, and the plating and greebles together. So, first of all, just to make the view, viewport a bit uh, nicer, uh, hit the N key and then scroll down to the display tab and select only render. And then in the shading tab, select ambient occlusion, matte cap, and a textured solid. And that will just give you um, a good view of all the details that I'm generating. So first of all, um, add the shape generator, which will be under the um, uh, add menu. And um, here you can see what the shape generator is doing. So what it does is basically create lots of random extrusions um, based on a random seed value that I'm changing here. So it creates lots of different shapes really quickly. So um, uh, that's all good. I mean, it doesn't look quite like um, a traditional ship here, a sci-fi ship. I was thinking more kind of like the, uh, the uh, Sulaco ship in Aliens. Uh, so I'm going to change a few settings here. Um, First of all, you can uh, adjust the scale uh, in the X, Y, and Z direction. Here I'm increasing the Y direction quite a bit, and then the X direction just a little bit. Uh, I'll zero out the rotation of the extrusions so that there's not, so it's a slightly more blockier shape. And um, with that starting to go, I'll uh, just um, subdivide the edges. You won't see it in the viewport, but it's useful for the plate and generator to have a few more subdivisions between the extrusions. I'm also going to bevel the edges just to give it a little bit more of a, uh, a smoother effect around the corners. Uh, so bevel width is about 10 there. Uh, segments to bevel profile is still at 0.5. And I've actually selected percent as the width method. I'm also going to adjust the way the, um, the, the way the add-on works a little bit when it's selecting faces randomly. So there, when choosing a face, I've set uh, 0.5 in the X and Z direction. So it's less likely uh, to choose a face to extrude in the X and uh, Z directions than it is in the Y direction. So this all starts to create a slightly longer shape uh, randomly. So it allows you then to uh, quickly change the seed value when you want to. But let's go on to adding then the plates and greebles uh, to the to the shape. Um, so by default, uh, it looks okay. There's a, there's a few um, plates um, generated there, and there's a few random greeble objects uh, that um, that give it sort of the impression of lots of detail. Uh, going on the surface, but what I want to do is actually introduce some more random variation using the add-on. Uh, so uh, you can again adjust um, a random seed parameter to change the effects of the plates, and then in the newest versions, uh, you can also adjust the minimum and maximum height of the plates. So they have a variation there. So if I do that slowly, you'll start to see a more varied effect going on with the uh, with the 3D model. And actually if I reduce the minimum height uh, to a negative value there's even more va more variation going on in the shape. Uh, so that starts to create sort of a more kind of sci-fi uh, type um, effect on the 3D model. Um, I'm also uh, adjusting the greebles a little bit here and making sure that the greebles are applied to all bits of the plates there. Um, and I've increased the amount of greebles to about a hundred. You don't want to go too crazy with the greebles, really. Uh, it, it, it sometimes goes gets a bit overkill. Uh, sometimes I'm using the default shapes here, but you can add your own custom shapes. Uh, I've taken out, say, the cylinder shape just because I didn't want that on this model. Uh, so. Um, 
so that's that's basically it and what you can do here now that you've got the setup in the session and blender will remember the parameters in your blender session while it's open uh, is you can cycle through uh, first of all on the on the plate on the plating seed and you can get different sort of effects quite quickly uh, to create or create a different uh, effect here um, uh, and once you're sort of happy you can start texturing it uh, uh, but now it's all set up you could add say the shaping generator sh shape generator again and it adds the same base model you did before but you can vary the random seed so you can start create you start playing uh, with different shapes uh, quite quickly so you can create you know a whole fleet of ships if you want in in quite a uh, in, in one foul swoop really. So say I select this shape and then I can add the plating generator um, on top uh, and just again play with some of the parameters. Um, also sometimes it's good to play around with the groove width um, sometimes that has an effect but sometimes uh, it can over it can cause overlapping geometry so just be careful. Um, but here I'm varying the seed value and you can quickly just get very quick random shapes. So um, I think this would be good for uh, backgrounds or uh, quickly generating concept art uh, and all that uh, all that sort of stuff. Um, so um, I hope that's been helpful. Uh, that was what I um, originally um, set out um, to do with these two add-ons uh, so that um, uh, I can turn what would be quite a slow task of extruding all these um, uh, and making the shapes um, quite a slow manual process when I just wanted to quickly create um, these sorts of these sorts of ships. Uh, and there we go. See, so look here again, a uh, different shape, but very quickly you can create all sorts of different models. Uh, and by varying things like other options in the shape generator, like subdivisions. Uh, you will get all sorts of different effects come out. So have a play uh, and uh, let me know what you think. And uh, there we go. Thank you.